Uh, well, recently I had a job. I just had a job before we got this cause. Uh, I worked in a factory. They like uh, knit this wool and um, some type of paper together for company roofs. Yeah, it was just just doing that and take care of my kids. I got two girls and a little boy, so my girls gonna be watching they big one with some of my biggest fans. Well, well, Jermaine, I wish you all the best and you got a chance to change your life. Those are the words of Jermaine Franklin as he informed us of everything that or something that we didn't know. He had a nine to five, you know, um, that just shows you that he boxing was one of the secondary things, more of the passion uh, things that he did on the side versus what he did for every day to ensure that his family was fed. And going from a factory job to the world stage, one of the biggest fights, if not the biggest fight, I know definitely the biggest fight of his career, shows a lot. It shows that uh, dreams do come true. Opportunities do exist. And if you work hard and you do and you show the best of your ability, regardless of the outcome, those type of opportunities can come true. It reminds me of Joe Smith. Joe Smith was another uh, fighter that did work construction before turning full uh, time professional boxer. And he did that to ensure that he had a future, you know, and the work, the thing about manual labor, which people don't understand when you do the job and you get into the routine of doing the job day after day after day, assembly line, construction work, you know, blue collar work, it shows and it creates a certain type of humbleness, a reverence, okay, uh, a technique of respect that you do repetition over and over again. And Jermaine Franklin, now I see and I understand why he fights so hard. I understand the performance he put up against Dillian White, you know, that refusal to need to yield to take a knee or any of that. He wasn't going anywhere because those type of things that you do, you understand what you have to go back to or what's there waiting for you if you don't make it on this particular passion stage, this platform in your life that you know that can change just by a single punch, okay? Or punches in certain people's situation, right? And it just gives me a whole new respect for Jermaine Franklin because I, I never knew that at all. I never knew Jermaine Franklin was this guy that just worked hard. He's not a guy that sat around and smoked weed part time and, and wait for his promoter to give him a fight. And then let me get ready. But then by that time, um, damn, I'm, I'm 50 pounds heavier because I've been sitting around scratching my balls, eating corn flakes and other BS Twinkies, ho-hos and potato chips and all this crap. Now let me get ready because my promoter decided to do my job. No, he went out and got it and it just shows you that a guy that's willing to make and create opportunities for himself, those type of windows open for those particular individuals like Jermaine Franklin. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Jermaine Franklin was working or continued back working a full-time job after his performance against Dillian the Body Snatcher White. Please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.